So this is Blink Outdoor 4, a battery powered smart security camera. It comes with two cameras and one sync module. In this particular video, we are going to take a look at how to set it up completely from start to end. Now let's directly jump into the video. But before that, if you're new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. Now, before getting into the setup part, uh, let me uh, tell you that this is the kind of box packaging you get whenever you order the product. So you can check out basic details over here. You have some features given over here on the side of the box. So that's just it. Uh, let's open the box. So inside the box, you can see we get a sync module over here and we get two cameras over here. So uh, let's directly start the setup process. Now, first of all, what we have to do is we have to take out the sync uh, module over here now this is sync module 2 if you already have a sync module then you can connect that uh, connect the cameras to that sync module but uh, if you order the whole uh, you know kit you do get a dedicated sync module with this particular system so yeah uh, first we have to connect the sync module 2 to the blink application so to connect the sync module we do get an additional box inside it so where you can find basic uh, you know adapter and all so if i open it you can see we do get a cable over here which is type a to micro usb cable and we do get an adapter so let's directly connect the sync module and start the setup process so once you connect the sync module to the power source you will get a blue uh, light over here now Without wasting any time, let's directly jump into the setup part. Now, all you have to do is you just have to download Blink application from App Store or Play Store. Now, once you open the application, you just have to create an account uh, in Blink app and later on you can start the setup process. Now, to add this sync module, all you have to do is first of all, you need to tap on this plus icon and you have to select sync module option over here. So select sync module. Now, uh, it will ask you to scan the QR code printed on the device. So the QR code which is on the back side of the sync module, you have to scan it and go ahead. Now, once you scan the QR, uh, it takes you to the next screen. And over here, uh, you have to select create a new system option and then select continue. Now, you have to name your system whatever you want. It can be, you know, examples are given over here. So, yeah, it can be anything. Once you uh, name it, you can just simply select continue option. So, I have renamed it. Let's select continue option over here. And now, uh, we have to discover the device. So, uh, you have to check if the uh, blue light is blinking and green light is steady or not. And as you all can see, blue light is blinking and green light is steady. So, we can move on to the next step. So, all we have to do is we have to select discover device. Now, uh, it will ask you to uh, connect the Wi-Fi network. So, all you have to do is you just have to select join option. So, now you can select a Wi-Fi network over here and you can go ahead. So, once you enter the Wi-Fi password, select join. And now you can see sync model to add it to office or uh, basically the name which you have given, it will be displayed over there. So, just select done option. And now all you have to do is once you connect the, uh, you know, uh, sync module now you get this blue uh, steady light and green steady light so once the sync module is added successfully now the next step is we need to add cameras over here now you might be wondering why i have added sync module first because over here you can see uh, for wireless cameras indoor and outdoor cameras sync module is required uh, without sync module it, uh, it is not possible to basically connect these two cameras over here so yeah uh, let's not waste any time. Let's start uh, connecting the wireless cameras now. Now the next step is before adding the uh, wireless camera to application. First of all, we need to open this back plate and insert the batteries over here. And for that, we do get this additional, uh, you know, accessories box inside the main one. So all you have to do is you just have to open and you can check out all the accessories over here. Now we do get this wall mounting uh, option over here uh, and over here you can just simply attach the camera. Also, to open the back plate, you get this small tool over here with the help of this particular tool. You can just simply open the back plate. Now you can see it is opening. Now, once you remove the back plate, this is the place where you need to insert the batteries. Now, you do get additional batteries inside the box. And whenever you want to change the batteries, uh, you have to use 1.5 uh, volt lithium batteries only. So, yeah, let's insert the batteries and let's start the process. Now, once we insert the battery, let's select wireless camera option over here in the application and it will ask us to scan the QR code, which is at the back side of the camera. 
on the next page you can see uh, already we have added the uh, module over here so which is uh, showing here so all we have to do is just select continue option so now it is looking for the camera so we have to wait now you can see it is updating firmware so until then we can just simply attach the back plate back to the camera Now once the update is complete you will get a notification saying that camera added successfully so all we have to do is select next option now uh, it is showing a pop that your device comes with a free trial of uh, cloud storage so nothing much you just have to select done now if i go over here and if i go to home so uh, once you come to home if you are not able to see the devices connected over here in the application then all you can do is you can just simply restart the application and the problem will be solved now i am able to see the device over here which is this particular uh, camera now if you have to connect the second camera which i have not connected yet you have to follow the same process all you have to do is just tap on plus icon and go in wireless cameras and you can scan the qr code which is at the back side of the camera and then you can add second camera as well but for now we are not going to add it uh, we are going to uh, check what else option uh, what options we do get uh, for this particular camera in the application so if i place it here uh, and if i tap on this play button over here so now you can see it is showing me the live footage and to do the settings for this particular camera you can just simply tap on more option and go to device setting now in device setting you get multiple options in general setting you can just rename the camera over here if you want to uh, you can check out the battery level firmware status led and the other things over here if i go back uh, if you want to do anything related to motion you can select motion set, uh, settings and uh, you can uh, select the motion detection you can turn it on or off you can select motion recording type over here uh, it can be all motion or it can be person detection only you can uh, try whichever you want next is you can set the motion sensitivity currently it is set to 6 if you want to increase it you can just increase it to 9 9 is the maximum uh, i i would uh, keep it to 6 only also the next option is motion zone uh, you can customize motion detection to fit your home or reduce unwanted alerts you can check it out you can uh, you know uh, select the uh, re-trigger time over here if i go back if you go in video and photo settings over here you can uh, choose the motion clip length currently it is 5 seconds so i would like to increase it to 60 seconds and uh, if you want to increase the uh, you know video quality if you set to best the only thing uh, which is not good in best is that the video quality will be definitely good but uh, yeah it will reduce the battery life so the option which is given on the box that is two years uh, battery life uh, yeah it will be hampered if you select this best option now whenever you do any particular change you can just simply select save option over here to save the settings now next is you can end clip early if motion stops you can turn that on or off you can uh, you know keep night vision on auto on or off whichever is convenient to you uh, and you can also uh, change the sensitivity of ir you can uh, just tap on this toggle to capture photo so you can see take a photo once per hour when enabled and armed so if you want a picture of from the camera every one hour then you can turn this toggle on if you don't want you can just simply turn off the tap uh, that particular toggle now just increase the time over here and then select save option now the next setting is related to audio settings if you go uh, in audio settings you can choose the volume level of your camera again in privacy settings you can select some privacy zone uh, if i go in privacy zone there are two options one is activity zone and another one is privacy zone so basically you can choose the uh, zone whichever you want to record or you want to capture and the uh, area which is not selected it won't capture that so that is a good thing uh, video recording and audio streaming option is over here so yeah these are some basic uh, settings which you get in application and if i go back if i tap on play uh the live footage might be uh you know with uh, it will play with delay it depends on how strong your network is if i try to uh, show my hand over here you can see it is working so yeah these are some options you do get with the uh, you know blink application when uh, you connect this camera to the app so that's pretty much it for today's video guys and one more thing before ending this video if you want to purchase this particular camera i will try to leave a link in the description for this one so yeah, uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.